Chances are that when you're writing code, when I'm writing code, we always want to make sure the code is secure as possible, make sure that there aren't vulnerabilities, make sure that we aren't using libraries that have been archived or not maintained. But as we all know, sometimes these things just happen, hence why AppSec kind of exists in the first place, right? Or just vulnerabilities in general exist. Now from a static perspective, as in identifying these vulnerabilities during the development process, there's something called SAST, which is static application security testing. So it's not being tested while the code's in production. It's not really, well, maybe during the CI CD pipeline in the CI phase, even before it's built, right? Like it's not happening during the actual production life cycle. Now there are other tools that do this like DAST, for example, but SAST is really just about catching these things that could occur prior to it hitting production. And there are a lot of different tools to utilize this. SonarCube, Veracode, even GitHub code scanning, Metasploit is another one. But in this video, we're gonna take a look at SNCC. The first thing that we're gonna do, well, really quick, we can click the sign up button here and you can see that we can get started for free without any credit card stuff. But let's just take a look at the pricing really quick as well, because I am curious about that. So there's one version for individual developers and small teams looking to stay secure free forever that's interesting even small teams so this is really cool but i guess if you're a larger team and you need more options like for example open source license compliance jira integration and then for the let's see enterprise there's reporting and all this other stuff but for us i don't think we need that so i'm going to click on google so we have a couple options here we can connect directly to github we can use it in the cli so let's actually use it in the cli i think that makes sense right because we're going to you know scan some code that i have up on vs code so i'll click next i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to run this there are a couple options i'm on a mac so i'll use the homebrew option let me just open up vs code here really quick all right so from vs code and this is just an application that i built for some platform engineering stuff we'll take a look at that in a second i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to install it all right we'll go to the next step Authenticate your machine to the associated account. All right, so we got to run SNCC auth. All right, let's go ahead and run this. All right, authenticate for the CLI or IDE. And beautiful, all right. So now that's done, next step. And then now what we can do is scan for security issues. Navigate into your codes directory, refer to the instructions, blah, 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 okay. To scan your open source packages for vulnerabilities and ensure all dependencies are installed or they're supported, okay? Source code to scan your source code for vulnerabilities. Okay, cool. So I'm actually going to leave this for the next video because in the next video, we're gonna be doing some SCA stuff and I believe this is the, uh, the SCA portion. So in this case, we're just gonna run SNCC code test. I'm gonna copy that. And actually, before we do that, I'm just gonna take a look at the code here really quick. All right, so this is a Go app that I created. And essentially the gist with this Go app is I can install pretty much anything via Helm on a Kubernetes cluster. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run this here. Oh, okay. SNCC code is not supported. SNCC code is not supported for this org. Enable in settings SNCC code. All right, go to projects and let me go into settings here. SNCC code and all right, cool. So it's actually disabled by default. Uh, they don't have that on the front page, but that's okay. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. We'll click save changes. All right, we'll go back to dashboard here. Let's give this a shot again. All right, beautiful. So testing complete, see the static code analysis, project awesome, no issues were found. Okay, cool. But I'm not really happy with that. So uh, let's let, let's check something else out here. All right, so I just opened up the uh, the infamous OWASP juice shop application, which is it's essentially an application with known web vulnerabilities for testing purposes. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, run this now. All right, and here we go. We found some issues. That's good because now I know I still have an AppSec job. So <laughs> the project has been scanned. We can see here 25 high, 29 medium. The good news is, you know, this is a, uh, a web app. So of course there's going to be a ton of XSS vulnerabilities, some SQL injection vulnerabilities. So it's gonna tell me everything that's going on, but not only is it going to tell me, what I really like about this is it's telling me 
the exact line that it's on. So if we take a look at this one, routes search.ts, let me go ahead and open that up. Oh, where'd that one go? Oh, there we go. Okay. Under routes search.ts, let's go ahead and open that up. Okay. And it says line 23, right? So line 23 right here, criteria equals criteria dot length. Oh, I'm sorry, line 23, not line 22, models.sqlize.query, and then it's doing a SQL query here, select all from products where, name is like criteria or description like criteria, and delete it at is null, right? So as you can see, they already put the, uh, the comment in here, vuln code snippet, so essentially saying that this is a vulnerability, SNCC also caught it. And the gist is unsanitized input from an HTTP parameter flows into query where it is used in a SQL query. This may result in a SQL injection vulnerability. All right, good to know. So SNCC was able to find our issues. And then really quick, if I go to the dashboard here and I refresh, I don't think the alerts come up here. No, they don't. Okay, so if we want the alerts to come up here, I believe we have to add that in via one of the projects. So I just connect to GitHub. But maybe we'll save that for our next video. So that's how we can use SNCC to get started with a SaaS process via the CLI. Thank you so much for watching.